Okay, last thing we're going to do in this course is uh, strut bracing. Okay, uh, I am on page 6 34 of your handout, and we will be using a wind table on page 5 17. It's table 5 7. And other than that, uh, the example is right there. It says wall form strut bracing. I'm going to do it my way. <coughs> Uh, you can do it whatever you'd like. Uh, they give you an alternate way, which is fine with me. So, if I look at this thing, I got wind pushing on this form system. Of course, it's tied together. This whole thing will act as a sandwich. It's not going to move. One side is not going to move without the other. So, the wind's pushing on it. When it does it, it's going to try to push this thing over. This strut's going to go in compression. Okay, so that's what we want. So there's our strut. This particular problem, the strut connects to a stud that is at a point two foot down, okay? So you got your whales, you got your studs, your stud. Uh, this is actually the stud, the sheathings right here on the inside. Uh, tie it to the stud. They kicked it out at the bottom eight feet and it was two foot from the top of a 14 foot wall. So at this point right here is 12 feet above the grade. So that's 12 feet. So the triangle is 12 by eight right there. Okay, all we gotta do, look at this little sucker. If I put a support point there and there, I end up with a, I'm gonna turn it sideways. Okay, all I need is a reaction right here. That reaction is the reaction that's pushing on that strut. Then I turn it from horizontal to diagonal, and then I size it. So that's what we're going to do. So if I take this and I wanted reaction at this point, I'll call this point A, which is the ground. I'll put it, this is G ground S strut. If I wanted the value of S, I would take 20 times 140, or times 14. 20 times 14 times 7 and divide it by 12. 166, 163, and a bunch of threes, pounds per foot. That's what you've done, okay? Okay, this is what they've done. If you look at it, if you go to page uh, 517 and you look for a, a, built, a wall that's 14 foot tall and it's 20 pounds a square foot, they would have an H value of 140. So if you look at the handout, that's the H value. It's at uh, bottom of page, bottom of page, uh, Six thirty-four. We want it at twelve feet. Fourteen times one forty is equal to H prime times twelve. That's what they did. I like my way better. Just finding the reaction of a simple beam. If I take 14 times 140 and divide it by 12, I get 163 and a bunch of threes. So take your pick. If you like their way, do it their way. If you like my way, do it my way. So I got right here, I've got a force pushing right there. Okay, now, Remember, forces are exactly proportional to dimensions. So I have a triangle right here, 12 foot tall, eight foot wide, with a diagonal of a triangle. Second angle, five, 12 comma eight. 14.42 feet. 
Okay, I've got a horizontal of 163, so if this is the case, 12, 8, 14.42, force in the diagonal, this is to that, is that, is to that. 8 is to 14.42 as 163.33 is to the force on the diagonal. So if I take 14.42, multiply it by 163 and a bunch of 3's and divide it by 8, I get 294.41. Okay, that's how I would do it. If you look at what they've done, they found the diagonal to be 14.15, which is wrong. It should be 14.42. And they did the math and they came out to 290 pounds per foot. They used, uh, they rounded the 163 down and used the wrong number for 14.15, should be 14.42. That means for every foot of wall, the wind is transferring a diagonal force of 294.41. The problem statement said the struts are every eight feet. So if I take the number of pounds per foot of wall and I want the force in the strut, force per strut equals the 294.41 times the spacing between adjacent studs, eight feet. So if I take those two and multiply them, 294.41, 294.41 times eight, I get 23.55 pounds per strut. So each strut has to handle about 2,400 pounds, and that is the number they got right there. They have 2,320. Okay, they rounded some things off, which I didn't. So, how would I size it? You guys know how to do that from chapter six, back in uh, in 3360. Chapter six says all you need is the unbraced length and the load. I have an unbraced length. Of 14 feet 5 inches. I have a load of 2,355 pounds. All I've got to do is make sure the member I use for a strut won't buckle with that length in that load. So that, uh, that takes care of chapter uh, associated with strut bracing. I think you have everything you need now. Uh, once again, I will probably in the next day or so probably today actually, upload a uh, homework, uh, not a homework, a practice assignment for you. So you got a feel for how to do these things because uh, they're going to be on a test and then subsequently on a final exam. So I think we've got everything pretty well under control. Uh, the documents, of course, are in Canvas. Uh, they're chapter four, five, and six. So you ought to be able to print those off or get somebody to print them off for you. Uh, and uh, take a look at the material. Make sure you've got it. Uh, we'll be having a test shortly, so I'll be contacting you uh, via Canvas announcements very shortly. And make sure you've got uh, this under control. We've got, uh, in my mind, we have two items for you to worry about. Uh, the items that we've got are going to be chapter 16. So we've got test four. We've got chapter 16. There you've got uh, a wall footer and a spread or a pedestal. So there's a couple topics that are gonna be on it. We've got uh, then with the handout, with the, uh, you've got 
slab work for slab form work. Uh, you've got uh, wall form work. And you've got strut bracing. And that should be the end of that particular unit and the end of the course except for the final exam. Uh, I've updated the uh, assignment section so that the date on the uh, test and the final exam should be current and good. And also you've got, uh, you've got a syllabus that was loaded at the beginning of the semester. I took that away added a new syllabus that in the uh, final exam date is up to date too. So hopefully between the two of them and me, uh, you'll be there for the final exam. And yeah, that should do it.